while I'm out. Uh, obviously the ute's getting worked on, so <laughs> I've had to chuck the Ecovax goat robot mower in the back of the car. I made a post on a local community Facebook group asking if anyone wanted to try a robot mower. I'm doing a review for it and I've had it in my backyard which is pretty small. I thought I'd give it a go um, in someone else's, see what they think. So we're going around to meet them, never met them, let's go. We're here, let's go make sure this yard is suitable. It's so dark today. Gorav, is it? Yes. Is that how you pronounce right. it? Yes, Gorav. Gorav. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'll meet you around there. This is Gorav, he's going to uh, hopefully be trying out this robot mower. Hey team. <laughs> Have you tried one before? No, I just got the... Uh, sorry, I just fixed this one. Okay, looking a little bit sad at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. You've so, still got a mower? Uh, yeah, I've got a mower. What sort? Uh, Eagle. Okay. Where's the power point? Here. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that'll work. We can maybe sit it here. I wouldn't put it through here. Yep, it's just one on the area. Just because there's so much going on here. Yeah. Uh, so we've got this big open area here, which it will be fine in, absolutely fine. The other bit here down the side is a little bit more, there's a bit going on here. Concrete in the grass. He's trying to do a sort of garden bed here. There's an easement there. I might just get him, I mean, we could get it to avoid all these obstacles, but I might get it set up just in this big area today. We're gonna to have to give it a mow first though, because it's got quite a bit of length on it. Uh, do you wanna grab your mower for me? Yes. Now, as far as I'm aware, the software for this mower still only allows for a single zone meaning you can't like pick it up, put it out the front. So he's still gonna to have to mow out the front. But this is a, for this area, quite a large backyard to not have to mow this, especially with the, the rate of growth we're having at the moment, um, will be pretty good. I'll set it up for him. So it's probably going once a day or something. You still have to do your edges with a robot mower though. That's something to keep in mind. So the grass has got quite a bit of length on it before we release the robot mower on it. Gonna cut it with his mower. He's got the Ego Select Cut. Now I know what you're probably thinking, you're putting a robot lawnmower on it, why won't it cut it? The robot mowers work on taking little bits of grass off often. So as I said, I'm gonna set this up to cut every day. So it just nicks the top off it. You know, they're not a slashing machine or anything, but you just need to cut it once at the start, get the height down, and then it will maintain that for you. And then the grass benefits from just little bits being taken off often, which is what it likes. Instead of the trauma, of a monthly slash. Now I'll also add, these machines aren't gonna be for everyone, uh, particularly in my mind, modern blocks with really tight poorly designed um, you know, landscaping. Living in one of those areas, I see that sort of stuff every day and I just, with the current technology, I can't see where they will fit in on those modern blocks. I think where they will shine is those older style blocks, like those quarter acre blocks with big backyards, big open areas. I think they are awesome for that sort of setup. This is the typical sort of thing you see out here. You can see this Kaiku has just been pretty much thrown down on clay quite a bit of yellowing on it. A lot of that will have to do with the weather we've had. I've got a bit of it at home at the moment in the backyard. Now this is a wire free robot mower, meaning you don't have to put a boundary wire in the ground. Uh, what it does have are these things called beacons, which I'm gonna put one at either end of the yard. That helps tell it where it is. It's also got cameras and sensors on the unit itself. These are pretty easy to install. They just screw into the ground. So there's one installed. Go to the other end of the yard. Man, I, it, it is so humid. Same deal. Try and get them as plumb as possible. All right, let's go get the unit. Okay, so we've set the goat up here. If you're going to be putting it here permanently, you'd, you'd make a little station for it with no grass under it. Uh, we've got a power point there, which is handy. He's just trialing this, so this isn't you know a permanent solution. But that's another thing you have to overcome. Obviously, you, you need somewhere to put the thing. <laughs> and then access to power. Would have been nice if we could put it on the concrete, but obviously there's quite a drop off there. I've got Gorav downloading the app. You downloaded it? Yep. Got your account? Yep. All right, well, we might as well set it up on your phone. Should be a QR code on it. Of course, I can't remember where it is. Where is it there? Here we go. Scan the QR code. 
hooked up to the Wi-Fi. Having a strong Wi-Fi signal is definitely a bonus. Downloading an upgrade, of course, standard. And it's gonna be a reasonably easy backyard to map out. Beacons are set up. I need the QR codes from the beacons. There's one. So yeah, these beacons have got QR codes on them. We just gotta scan them. So it's detecting the signals now from the beacons. It says the signal strength is good, which is good. Get ready for virtual boundary creation. Now we're gonna run around the property. Now we've got like a little remote control. Yeah. So just drive it around here. Oh. I imagine those corners you'll probably have to get with the... Yeah, this is simply just to tell it uh, the limits of where it can go. Again, very simple yard to set up because it's just a pretty simple rectangle. Oh, you'll hear the motor kick in for the, the blade spinning, but it's still very quiet. You won't notice it. You could run it at night and no one would hear it, but um, the sensors need light to be able to run. Do you want to just move that sunflower out of the way? Otherwise it will just go around them because it's got obstacle avoidance. Now I'm probably doing about a six out of 10 <laughs> job of this at the moment. But you don't need to stress because if you do get it wrong, you can remap it at any time. Still need to do these red edges regularly to make it look tidy. Otherwise it'll look like that. There'll be big bits of area that it's not done, but it won't, That you know, to run around here, do the edges won't take long. All right, we've done our lap. Now we've just got to put it in front of the station. It'll redock. So yeah, it takes itself back home, recharges itself. Start charging. Beautiful. All right, we've uh, gone around the boundary with it. Now the goat is going to learn the area. It'll probably take a couple of minutes and then we'll set it on its first mo. Now the other good thing with trying this out is it's going to be good to see uh, what just regular cutting, super regular cutting, will do for this yard. It's obviously not looking amazing at the moment. Regular cutting is going to help any yard, but I will be coming back here. I'll probably leave it here for a few weeks or a month and uh, see what sort of improvement happens over that period. Rightio, we've set the goat up, it's cutting. I'm going to come back maybe in a few days, see how it's going, but yeah. We'll give it three or four weeks and see how it cuts this lawn.